A lot of people want to know how to act better on camera. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you surefire proven advice on how to act better in front of the camera. I'm also going to share with you techniques that I use to be more confident in front of the camera. And at the end of this video, I will share with you my go-to strategy on how to appear more confident on camera. And there might be some bloopers. My name's Dan Warner. I've been a full-time actor for over 20 years. I've done over 80 television shows and films and shot over 120 commercials in my career. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button down there so you don't miss any of my tutorials or tips on how to act better in front of the camera. A lot of people ask me, how do I become better in front of the camera? Well, my best piece of advice is to become a student of your craft. Whether you're an actor, whether you're an entrepreneur, a YouTuber, whether you're a business owner, more and more people are getting in front of the camera to deliver their message to the masses. The days of sitting down and having a meeting in front of a bunch of people are slowly fading away. And this here is becoming the wave of the future. And people want to know, listen, I'm good in a crowd. I'm good in front of my uh, employees. I'm good in front of all these people. I'm good in front of my friends. But when the camera starts, why do things become more difficult? If you want to be better in front of the camera, be in front of the camera. Hit the record button and be in front of the camera. Be in front of the camera as much as humanly possible. Whenever you have free time, be in front of the camera. Play it back. Watch it back. You have to practice being in front of the camera. You can't just go in front of the camera and go, well, I'm just going to be in front of the camera now and I'm going to do really great. You're not. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Listen, the delete button is your best friend. What if you spent 15 minutes every day in front of the camera for 30 days? That's about seven and a half hours at the end of the month that you will have spent in front of the camera. How much better do you think you'd be in front of the camera after seven and a half hours? Now multiply that times 10 or 20. You know, two years in front of the camera, you're going to be better in front of the camera. Listen, nobody's going to see your mistakes anyway. You hit the delete button, you play it back, you watch it back, you do it again. You don't like it, you do it again. Or you can just sit around and lament about that three minute clip that you did that you didn't like very much. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that's going to get you very far. There's that damn fly again. When you're sitting around talking to your friends, you have little to no filter. Over time, the same thing can happen in front of the camera. Now, you know your material usually. If you're, a, if you're a professional, if you're a business owner, if you're an actor, you study your script, you know the material. You've got the material down. In his book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Th Mark Manson says, we are defined by what we're willing to struggle for. Push the record button. Let that tape run. No one's going to see your mistakes. You can hit the delete button. It's all going to work out. You're, you're going to find yourself getting better and better and better as time goes on. I know this may sound simple, but it's very, very true. If you're in front of the camera, the more you're in front of the camera, the better you're going to get. Here's a great example. If you have not seen Sean over at Think Media's uh, YouTube channel, you should check him out. His very first video was, in his words, pretty bad. Sean now is an expert in front of the camera. Now, listen, Sean did his first video back in 2010, and now it's 2020. It's been a long time. It's been 10 years he's been working at this. But Sean is an expert in front of the camera. But he didn't start out as an expert in front of the camera, as you'll see in these clips I'm about to show you. It's a, it's a fantastic transformation. He went from some guy who was sort of shy and, you know, didn't really know what was going on. His light was bad. His sound was bad. It was, these are his words, too. He's admitted how weird this video is. But he is a master now in front of the camera and has been for quite some time. I'm not saying you need 10 years. 10 years would be great. But... 
Time in front of the camera, time in the saddle is super, super important. All right, so uh, this is, I guess, the first Sean Thanks vlog, and uh, I'm gonna try to vlog every single day, um, mainly so I can remember what I'm even doing um, and what's going on, because I just feel like I have a lot that I'm thinking about, and I figured, hey, why not share it? And if you find something interesting, that's awesome. Now, this is definitely uh, as real as it gets, so I'm not gonna try to be energetic or entertaining, um, though maybe sometimes I will. But anyways, uh, vlogging daily about just what I'm thinking about, what's going on, what's on my mind, um, and also so oftentimes there's a lot of like quick buzz stuff uh, going on that I don't want to overproduce or, or try to put something together for it, but just get it out as quick as possible. So, um, but man, vlog number one. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Is it too late to start YouTube in 2020? Man, that is the elephant in the room and everyone's wondering with the drama that's happening on YouTube with COPPA, with the fact that YouTube has been around for 15 years now. Is it still possible to not only start a channel, but really to grow and to break out? So in this video, I'm actually gonna be sharing some case studies and some examples of channels that have started in the last two to even last one year to even the last few months that have broke out and some tips for how you can grow your channel faster in 2020 and beyond. But hey, if we're just meeting, my name is Sean Cannell. I'm the author of YouTube Secrets and here on Think Media, my passion is helping you with the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And I'm so excited. Okay, so now you see that's how Sean was in front of the camera, now how Sean is now in front of the camera and it's night and day. It can be night and day for you too. Doesn't have to be that big of a transformation and it doesn't have to take 10 years. It could take six months. It really depends on you. How good you get in front of the camera depends on you. You're the only factor. How much time are you willing to spend? How much time and effort and energy do you wanna put into this to be better in front of the camera? to stop sweating in front of the camera, to stop flubbing your lines. Listen, you're still gonna flub your lines. I flub my lines. But I've been doing this a while. Listen, I, people are gonna sweat. I don't know what I have about sweating. There's something about sweating. Look, the more time you spend in front of the camera, the better you're going to get. You'll flub less, you'll sweat less, at the end of the day, it's really up to you. How much time do you want to spend on this? How important is it to you? Think back of, you don't even have to think back. What are you really good at? I mean really good at. Okay, so whatever you're really good at, think about how many hours you spent getting really good at that. Did you spend 100 hours? Did you spend 1,000 hours? Did you spend 10,000 hours? Have you been doing it since you were 10 and you're really good at it now? As far as the confidence level goes, with experience comes confidence. The more you play it back and you see how good you are on camera, you're gonna be more confident next time you hit that record button. And again, you got the delete button. That's your safety net. You're good. You don't have to worry about it. And if you wanna do this with no one else around, do it with no one else around. No one's ever gonna see it. Do it in your closet for all I care. But just put yourself on tape every day. Commit to doing 15 minutes a day for 30 days. Do the same monologue, do the same speech, and then see how you are at the end of that 30 days. Now, here's another tip on how to be more confident on camera. What you wanna remember the thing that's gonna save you, and I, I'm gonna do a, a whole other video about this subject. Editing is going to save you. The jump cut, the art of the jump cut is going to save you. So in my videos, you see I do a lot of jump cutting. And if you do one or two jump cuts during your video, it looks like maybe you made a mistake, but if you do more than five jump cuts in your video, it's suddenly a style. <laughs> so uh, I like the jump cut. I like what it does. It, it, moves your, it moves your story forward. The jump cut's great. <laughs> jump cut.
The art of the jump cut is fantastic. I love it as a style. I think it's, it's funny. I think it moves the story forward. I think it makes everything more interesting and it's, and it's more interesting for the, for the viewer. I think that's good. I think we're good. I think we've covered the jump cut. I'm gonna do another video just on jump cuts alone. Get in front of the camera, be a student of your craft, record yourself every day. Jump cutting is your best friend. The delete button's your best friend. All these things will help you be more confident and better in front of the camera. My name's Dan Warner, thanks for coming. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you liked my video. We're gonna have more videos every week uh, talking about on-camera confidence, tutorials on acting, all kinds of stuff. You should just come back and it's gonna be fantastic. You're just gonna love it, it's gonna be so great. You're not gonna even believe how great all these videos are gonna be. You're gonna just say, wow, it's awesome. If you have any questions about on-camera confidence, uh, being in front of the camera, if you have any acting questions, go ahead and ask me a question. I'm gonna be reading all the questions and I'll answer all your questions for you uh, before next week. Thanks for coming. So, there you have it. A lot of people want to know how to act on camera. Sometimes I want to know how to act on camera. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my secret... What the secret what? Weapon? Really? And at the end, I'm going to give you sort of my secret weapon and uh, something else. Secret weapon? I just... that just sounds so stupid. A lot of people want to know how to act on camera. <laughs> That's stupid. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. <laughs> I just can't do the secret weapon. A lot of people wanna know. <laughs> and this might be the wave of the future. There's a fly in my shot. Get out of here! God damn it. All right. Nothing worth doing, nothing worth having, Nothing. I got nothing. I don't know that. I don't. I, I got a fly in here. Where is the fly? Oh, I don't know. Perfect. All right.